How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over how to solve problems that ask you to prepare solutions and dilutions and how to do that. First off we're just going to touch base on those definitions again. Solutions are a homogeneous mixture of a solute distributed through a solvent and a solute is what's being dissolved. The solvent is what's you doing the dissolving and that's usually water. And uh, yeah let's just jump right in. So the first problem is a chemist has a stock solution of 16 molar HCl. You have been asked to make 545 ml of a 4.5 molar solution. How much stock acid and water should you blend? So this is a pretty common type of problem. That's one of the most, uh, I guess, one of the simplest ones of these. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use M1V1 equals M2V2 uh, to solve it. So first of all, right off the bat, well, what can we plug in? We have what we we have our stock solution molarity. Then we have V1. We don't know how much of the stock that we need in order to make this. So then we have our 4.5 molar and 545 ml. In this case, we can use ml. We don't have to convert it to liters as long as we're aware that what we're solving for is going to also be an ml. Just as long as you don't have, uh, you know, you're never multiplying or dividing uh, liters by ml, you just want to make sure that they're consistent. Um, but it's not crucial for the formula. Okay, so from there, we're just going to multiply. We got 4.5 um, times 545. And then we're going to, the answer that we get there, we're going to end up dividing both sides by 16. One fifty three point two eight. So our V one is one fifty three point two eight ml. So what is that? Now what we got there is the amount, the volume of stock that is required to make this dilution. So now we have that. Um, but what we need to figure out is it's asking us for two things. How much stock acid and water should you use to blend? So we're going to use this much water, um, or rather, okay, yeah, so we're going to have this much of our, of our, I'm sorry, of our stock. Now how much water do we add? So what we're going to do there to figure that out, we're going to take 545, which is the total volume that we want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the amount of stock. So we have one, or, so we have 545 minus our 153.28 is going to give us 391.72 391.72 ml so now our final answer is going to be in order to make this we're going to have to mix 153.28 ml of stock with 391.72 ml of our water. So like I said, that's a, a pretty straightforward one and uh, I think they're gonna get a little bit more complex and then we're gonna kind of build to one that is, I think, pretty, pretty difficult. I'm gonna just overlap these a little so I can make sure I have enough space. All right, cool. So our next one, uh, you dilute 386 ml of 4.2 molar HCl to a final volume of 500 ml. What is the new concentration? So again, this is gonna be pretty straightforward. M1V1 equals M2V2. And we're just gonna kind of sub in for what we have. So in this case, we have, let's see, we'll start going across. We have 4.2 molar and we have 386 ml is going to equal our m2 and 500 ml which is going to be our v or yeah our v2 so now we'll just do what we kind of did last time we'll do 4.2 whoops 4.2 times uh, 386 that and then what we're going to get is regardless we're going to 
divide by 500 ml, divide by 500 ml. So we have M2 equaling 3.2424. And we can kind of round that down to just 3.24. Okay, so now what do we have? We have the molarity. I mean, that's that's really what the final answer is actually. Yeah, we're, we're looking for the new concentration and we just found it. So that's gonna be our, our final answer. So not too bad. Okay, so now we're gonna get a little bit more complex. And these are the probably open response kind of multi-step or multi-question problems um, that will give you know certain people headaches depending on, you know, that they're sometimes can be pretty difficult. This one's not the worst one, but um, so a stock solution of CUSO4 was made from 105 grams of CUSO4 in 600 ml of water. So right there, we know we're, we're going to have to probably determine the molarity there. Um, for your experiment, you need a CUSO4 solution, which is 0 0.25 molar. This is a two part question. Now, what is the concentration of the stock solution? And uh, how would you prepare two liters of that solution that you need, which is 0 0.25 ml? I mean, I'm sorry, M. Um, so first of all, we have um, your M solution. It's going to equal the N solute divided by your liters of solution. And what can we sub in for that? Well, what are we given right off the bat? We're given that we have 0. We need 0 0.25. We're going to have, okay, so we need to find the moles. So to find those moles, we're going to have, uh, we have 105 grams CuSO4. And then what do we have for CuSO4 or molar mass? It's going to be 159. 0.61 grams, and that's per one mole. What do we get? 105 divided by 159.61, 0 0.65, 79 moles. And then, so that's 0. Yeah, 0.6579 moles. Um, of CuSO4. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide that by the liters of solution, which we know was 0 0.6 liters of water. Um, and then we'll see what we get for our molarity there. So 0 0.6579 divided by 0 0.6 is going to equal 1.0965 molar. Okay, so I think that that's the first the first answer there. We got what is the molarity of the stock solution, and we figured it out. All right, so for this next problem here, um, how would you prepare two liters of 0 0.25 molar solution? Um, we're just going to again use that M1 V1 equals M2 V2. And this time we're going to use what the problem provides. So what we know is that we need two liters, but we can make it 2000 ml um, for this case. And then the molar, we need 0 0.25 ml. And then that's going to equal our V1 is our unknown here because we're trying to figure out how much of our stock solution, which we figured out the, the uh, molarity of, we're going to use to make this. And then this is going to be our 1.0965 M. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply our, our 0.25 molar times 2000. So we're going to get 500. And then what we're going to get is 500 divided by 1.0965. And we're going to get so our V1 is going to equal 455.996. Um, so we can round that up to 
456 and that's going to be the ml so now what we have is that's how much of our stock we'll use and now we're going to figure out um, so it's going to be 456 uh, so 2000 minus 456 is going to give us 1544 oops um, ml of water and that is how we're going to make this is how we're going to prepare a solution so from there um, we can move on to the last problem I had prepared uh, which is going to be a, pr a pretty pretty punishing problem to be honest um, I'll, I'll overlap this a little bit so we can get extra room here and I, I added another sheet of paper on so that we could have some extra space so basically here it is a, a solution of NaCl uh, on your lab bench it is determined to be 1400 ml and 2 molar this solution was made by diluting a stock solution of which uh, 0.5 liters is left or 500 ml and the concentration that's written on the label is illegible so you don't know what what the molarity of that that concentration is which I can speak from someone that's worked in a lab that does happen and you can run into this exact problem um, for your next experiment you need to make a new 100 ml NaCl dilution of 0.5 molar so I'll I'll scoot this up here all right so it's a three-part question um, first off what is the concentration of the stock solution then which solutions can be used to make the new required solution and then how much of which solutions uh, can be used to make the required solution so th the word solution is used a ton here and it might get a little bit confusing but um, so if you do have a problem like this and it's you know it's worded as possibly you could say poorly as this one is um, what I like to do is just make like a small picture so so we have um, our a which is our stock rather I'm sorry so um, yeah we'll, we'll make it this way if we want we can do it chronologically by the order but basically we have our stock is um, what we're, so that's what we don't know we have 0 0.5 liters of stock but we don't know its molarity then on our lab bench let's say LB for lab bench we have uh, 1400 ml and uh, 2 molar and now we're this is our our kind of like our unknown what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make 100 ml of 0 0.5 molarity so we can kind of use that as like a reference for for not getting too confused through these questions um, that we're going to answer so first off um, what we're going to do for a is going to be m1 v1 equals m2 v2 and um, we'll kind of just plug in what we have so now for that we can start with 2 molar and we have so we have 2 molar and 1400 ml and that's what we're getting right from there the right from the lab bench um, and we'll solve for an m2 500 ml which is the 0.5 liters we have there we're just making sure they're in the same format so we just have the two so we're gonna get 2800 on one side and then divide that by 500 we'll get 5.6 so I'll just 500 500 we're gonna get 5.6 so that is m2 equals 5.6 so what is that number that is the molarity of the stock so the stock now we can kind of throw it over here if we want now we know that the stock is 5.6 molar so now the next question is which solutions can be used to make the new required solution so that's a, a little bit of a tricky question but um, there's a pretty straightforward way to answer it I think so first off um, 
we're going to do what we do what what we did in previous problems but just do it twice so first off we're going to do this one 5.6 molar so how much of the stock are we going to need to use to make 0 0.5 molar um, and 100 ml of that so then it's just um, 0.5 times 100 we get 50 and then we're going to divide both sides by 5.6 50 divided by 5.6 is going to equal 8.928757 so we're going to get um, I'll round that to 8.93 93 that's going to be ml so we only need 8.93 ml of our um, stock solution of solution a stock to make our um, our 100 ml of the 0.5 so that's what we need for that now we're going to use the lab bench uh, dilution that we had that was made uh, we'll see how that one pans out so we have 2.0 molar it's going to equal 0 0.5 m and 100 ml now we just have the again we're going to have the 50 and then this time we're going to divide both sides by 2 and that's going to just be 25 I believe 25 ml of the dilution which I'll just put B there because that's what we're referencing um, plus 75 ml of water and then in this case we're gonna have a hundred so 8.93 uh, minus 100 or you can do it the other way 91.07 um, so that's now we've given more I think information than we actually need um, but we've determined how much water and how much stock and how much water and how much of the dilution from the stock that we're gonna, that we can use to make this uh, this final dilution that we need or dilution C or whatever you want to call it um, so now we've answered this so which solutions can be used to make that we're gonna see now do we have we only need 8.93 ml of stock do we have that yeah we have way more than enough of that um, so we can use that and then this next one um, we only need 25 ml of the dilution and we have 1400 ml so we can use that so now that we know we can use both of these based on that and, and in other problems you could possibly run into an example where you're asked to make a dilution from a stock and you just don't have enough of the stock to make the volume that they're asking for and then in that case It'd almost be like a trick question, but you could basically say, you know, you'd run out, but you could make a lesser amount in that same molarity, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So finally, uh, how much of which solutions can be used to make the required dilutions? I mean, the, it should say the required solution or dilution, whatever. Um, I'm getting a little confused now, but uh, yeah, we've already answered that. So 8.93 ml of stock from A and then uh, 25 ml uh, from B in order to make these. Um, this final dilution here so yeah that's the last problem from here um, I'll throw this thing up here at, on the top and uh, yeah hopefully this helps someone it's a uh, you know hopefully this gave enough information here